I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the strategy of writing trigonometric equation especially for the tan function from the graph. So here we are given a trigonometric function which is the tan function. The question is determine the equation of the trigonometric function from the graph. Now as you can see the graph it represents a tan function which I can actually draw here the base function and then we will discuss how to find the equation of the given trigonometric function. So as we see the characteristics is kind of like this which is very similar to the tan function. So we will make an equation which is for tan function. Now for tan of x in general as you know time period is what? Time period is pi. So it repeats after every pi. right? Now the asymptotes which are there they are at plus pi by 2 and minus pi by 2. So this is the base function. Right? This is the base function. So asymptotes are at pi by 2 and at minus pi by 2. Critical points which we should consider when we are talking about tan functions are basically three points which are at 0. Always a value of the tan function is 0. So one point is at 0 we have 0. The other points are the points when we have value as plus 1 or minus 1. Now that is for tan of 45, right? So so we have pi by 4, you can say pi by pi by 4 tan of 45. We have plus 1, right? And at minus pi by 4 the value of tan is minus 1. So these are the three critical points to consider. So if these points have translated or they have been stretched, we know what is the transform tan function, right? So that gives you an idea. Now as you will realize here that the time period for tan is pi and this is quarter of time period, right? So these points basically, this is t by 4, do you see that? pi by 4 is t by 4, correct? and this is minus t by 4. So the critical points are actually on the quarter of the cycle. Do you understand that? So these are at the quarter cycle. So at the quarter of a cycle it is 1 or minus 1, right? And at origin where it turns it is always origin, right? So these points are the points which we will consider to get the equation for the tan function. Now from the characteristics, it is always increasing, so we know it is a tan function. First, let us find the time period t for this. So that we always find with the help of vertical asymptotes. So you can see here, draw the vertical asymptotes. So these are the vertical asymptotes, right? The lines are very light, so I'm just sketching them so this becomes more clear to you. Now each unit is half, so, so this is plus half for us and this is minus half. The two vertical asymptotes are at plus and minus half. From here we can get the time period, correct? So from here the time period is the time between these two. That is the time period for us. Let me sketch. This is the time period. Now how much is that? Let's calculate. Time period for us is from half minus of minus half. Half minus of minus half. So the time period is half plus half which is 1. So t is 1 for us. If t is 1 then the k value for tan should be pi by 1 which is pi. You understand k value. We are trying to write the equation in terms of tan of kx. Right? It could be tan of k. We know it is not transformed so I am not taking any other value and it could be a times tan of kx. Okay, Now, so we get k value which is pi since the time period or it is repeating after one unit of time. The other points which I said should consider are the points at the origin right, and quarter of the cycle. Now if the time period is 1, quarter will be quarter will be 1 fourth. Right? So what is the value at 1 fourth? So if you see the value at 1 fourth is, is 1, correct? And the value at minus 1 fourth is actually minus 1. Do you see that? 
That simply means that it has not been vertically stretched. Since it has not been vertically stretched or translated horizontally or vertically, now we can write our equation as y equals to tan of and k values pi, so we can write pi x. So that gives us the equation for the given graph. Do you see that? And I hope you understand the strategy how we found it. So we found this equation by checking the values of these three critical points. These are the key points. And then the asymptotes gave us the time period. So these two things combined together can actually give you the function in time. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.